Hello everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing back in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video guys, we'll talk about another article featured on today's issue at preferredcurrency.news. But before we go there, I would like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program. Now guys, um, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system or Initiative Q uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now guys, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while well, it's free and it's still early. Now guys, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free and they will only be needing your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now here is your special limited invite link in the description below. Click it now. Um, now guys, the link shown will stop working once we are out of free invites. So guys, click it now and don't get left behind on this one. Alright? Okay, so moving forward, let's go to the article. About Goldman, Morgan Stanley go live with CLS IBM powered blockchain. CLS, the bank owned currency trading utility, and IBM have gone live with their blockchain based payment netting service after more than two years in development. Investment banking giants Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are the first companies to use the newly launched CLS Net with six more participants from North America, Europe, and Asia, including Bank of China or Hong Kong, committed to joining in the next few months according to CLS and IBM. Ram Kumar Raju, Managing Director for Technology at CLS, told Coindesk the system is up and running saying, or quoting, we have matched and confirmed the first transactions and successfully issued a netting report for the counterparties and code. Along with the food tracking blockchain, IBM Food Trust launched in October and the trade finance platform which we.trade, which went live in late June. CLS Net is the third blockchain consortium powered by IBM Tech to go into production this year. As such, it's one of the few major enterprise distributed ledger technology or DLT projects of any stripe to get this far. Coating with CLS Net now in production with two of the world's largest banks for a major market function, it is a testament to the ongoing maturity of blockchain technology and the value that can or it can deliver in practice. And quote, send Marie Wegg, general manager at IBM Blockchain, in a press release. The launch of CLS Net, she said, represents the first post trade production deployment of blockchain technology in a global market utility. Filling, if, filling in gaps. Though not a household name, CLS provides critical plumbing or plumbing to their foreign exchange or forex markets. Founded in 2002, it mitigates settlement risk for participating banks with a payment versus payment service in which both sides of a trade are completed at the same time. But its new platform aims to solve current issues in the forex market such as a lack of standardization and automation. For example, a limited number of participants currently net trades with each other on a regular basis, and even when they do, often there is a need to manage the process manually, according to IBM and CLS. In addition, many participants do not net 
the payments for forex trades, instead settling on a gross basis, which exposes them to settlement risk and leads to higher intraday liquidity demands and companies or the company said. Quoting, CLS Net will deliver the standardization and automation need for non-CLS settled transactions, end quote, said Adam Joseph Hart, Managing Director of the Fixed Income Division at Morgan Stanley. Barry Liu, General Manager for the Bank-Wide Operation Department of Bank of China, added that CLS Net is, in particular will enhance operational efficiency in trade matching and payment netting for non-CLS settled currencies such as CNH or the offshore version of China's uh, renminbi the strength or and strengthen our risk management end quote the now live CLS networks for over 120 fiat currencies and is designed to standardize and increase the level of payment netting in the foreign exchange market. It was developed in collaboration with buy side and sell side institutions. At the same time, the platform supports compliance with a code of conduct for the foreign exchange markets that CLS helped to deploy the company stated. Coating, a standardized and automated payment netting process will lead to improved intraday liquidity, reduced costs, improved operational efficiencies, and ultimately support business growth, said Alan Marcard, Chief Strategy and Development Officer at CLS. Here. Early Explorer CLS and IBM developed CLS Net on the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain. But as CLS has been experimenting with blockchain technology since early 2015 before the Hyperledger consortium started. Those attempts eventually grew in CLS Net with Bank of America, Bank of China, Bank of Tokyo, Mitsubishi, UFJ, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase and Morgan Stanley on board with the when the project was unveiled in September 2017. From the beginning, CLS worked with IBM on blockchain solutions. However, in May of this year, the Forex Trading Utility announced a $5 million investment in another major enterprise DLT vendor R3. We at R3's platform will not be used for the current services CLS is working on, Komaraju told Coindesk. Quoting, our investment in R3 has no impact on the future development of our products using Hyperledger Fabric, as we do not believe that DLT should be a one network universe, end quote. He said, adding, quoting, we believe that the industry will benefit from a choice of prov in providers, which is why we have chosen to align ourselves with two key providers, R3 and IBM in the DLT space, end quote. Meanwhile, CLS and IBM have expanded their collaboration. This summer, the two companies announced a proof of concept for a separate project named Ledger Connect a financial blockchain app store offering DLT-based services for know-your-customer processes, sanction screening, collateral management, derivatives, post-trade processing, and reconciliation and data market. All right, guys, so that was for the second article for today about Goldman Morgan Stanley Go Live with CLS IBM. So, guys, what can you say? Share with us your opinions in our comment section below. And also, you guys could have your own copy of Donald's uh, of our newsletter directly sent to your email simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here. Now, guys, once you are in the website, all you have to do is um, go down or scroll down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis. Or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Alright, so now guys, um, I'm going to show you what our newsletter looks like. Now here is the current issue for the day, uh, which included the articles featured. 
and also we have websites that you guys should look into there now um, to all our subscribers out there you can also join our telegram group simply by clicking this image here on your copy of the newsletter and also um, here is the best um, part once you subscribe to our newsletter is that you get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. Now these are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and also invites you to do the same if you like to. So now here guys let's go and take a look at Donald's research list simply by clicking this open spreadsheet tab. Now, once you're in this tab sheet or Google sheet, guys, as you can see here, this is Donald's research analysis for the day. Now, um, including on column A are the names of the coins or tokens. Now, take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. So, guys, we highly recommend that you uh, take a look closer to um, the coins or tokens that are, are highlighted green and blue since they will give you the um, good news, right? On column B is the US dollar resin price. On column C is the share of total market volume. On column D, Google search has compared to the past seven days. Column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price. On column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price. And here on column J is the percent issue. Now take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto. But guys, um, if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders and also um, of course you guys can have your own copy of donald's research list simply by clicking the word file here on the upper left corner click make a copy now you can rename the document if you want to then after that click ok so that you can have your own version which you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research you can also add columns, personal notes, and information to your own file copy there. And then also here, guys, on our newsletter, um, below you will see some other list of coins or tokens that has the most high volume change, interesting technical price action, high weekly trade volume, and high Google search activity. Now here, also, um, we have an affiliate program to you all crypto lovers out there where you can become an affiliate for preferredcurrency.news and earn your crypto each month. Now you can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. But here guys, um, you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. Now, um, how to enroll as an affiliate? It's so easy. Simply click on this image here on your copy of the newsletter or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news and click on the affiliate tab on the upper right corner. Enroll, do your first blog and there you can earn your crypto. It's so easy guys and um, if you have other questions you can contact Donald or the publisher because he really wants to connect with you personally. So now here guys. Um, you can contact Donald the Guru through the following phone number at 1-801-601-8105 WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939 Telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can also follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. There. Also here guys, uh, for training on how to use your preferred currency spreadsheet, you can click on this link here for our YouTube channel, which is called Preferred Currency News. And subscribers can also follow us on our private subscribers Twitter, which is at Preferred Crypto, for alerts and updates between issues. You can also email us to let us know your Twitter, so we know how to approve you. 
and um, we invite other YouTube channels out there to freely review and analyze our data. We hope that you embrace our affiliate program there. And now here, guys, we have um, upcoming EOS airdrops. Now, Tuk Tuk um, is a platform to lightly flip emotional expressions and share them. It is a creative communication platform in which mass adoption can occur as a blockchain ecosystem with services available to many ordinary users. So guys, what is no drop? Now, it is Tuk Tuk's airdrop, which means that the atmosphere is not so good nowadays, and it means that you want to approach the EOS holders warmly like snow rather than the term airdrop itself. So here are the Tuk Tuk snapshot and snowdrop detail information. Now the token name is Tuk. Snapshot, uh, snapshot date is November 29, 2018 at 11 a.m. Snowdrop time, December 2018. Snowdrop targets and rates um, up to 50,000 Tuk per account. Holder with account on mainnet is 1 EOS to 0 0.5 Tuk. Holder holding EOS in exchange chance, 1 EOS to 0 0.6 Tuk. The other exchanges no drop is not supported. Snapshot standards include total EOS holdings, including staking and unstaking quantities. Snow drop quantity less than 1 billion expected. Total issuance 10 billion or 40% compulsory lockup. Now Tuk Tuk 20 view commercial video. Advertising video expression channel. Now there are through 320 movie theaters nationwide. Uh, namely Megabox, CGV, Latte Cinema, CineQ, it, etc. Gangnam Station, Shinbun Dynasty Media Filler Screen 135, Samsung Station, Coex Parnas Mall DID, Gangnam Express Terminal Fami Station Display, Nationwide Large Outdoor Billboard 40 Place, Monitor Advertising in <coughs> National Elevators. And also here we have the Kaideos.io. Now, Kadeos is a decentralized EOS-based platform for 3D CAD files and project management. Kadeos will offer users top-notch 3D design tools, data share capabilities, video calls, chats, and screen share apps to provide them with the best communication capabilities and provide management services. Individuals and companies could use Kadeos to announce CAD designs, 3D printer apps, app developments, and much more. Kadeos plans to airdrop or drop AD token to all EOS holder. Details are as follows. Now, the snapshot time is December 1st, 2018. Drop time, December 20, 2018. Drop total amount, 0 0.2 billion. Release total amount, 1 billion. Drop ratio, 5 EOS to 1 ADE. Now, ADE tokens are rewarded to users who sign up on the platform and register the EOS wallet. Alright guys, now always stay tuned and be updated for more upcoming airdrop events in the future. And also, um, for more questions, you can contact Donald through Skype or um, by adding him through donald.fcda on your Skype. Alright. So now guys, all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and education only and not to be considered advice. Now guys, here we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. So guys, that concludes our video for the day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing off. And I'll see you some other time, guys. Bye.